What's a Bitcoin? It's an invisible virtual form of currency, what one analyst calls gold for nerds. How is it like gold? Well, like gold, no central bank controls it, so governments can't just print or mint more of the currency. Building on the gold metaphor, bitcoins are mined. Instead of shovels, miners use powerful computers to solve complex math problems. When they succeed, they unearth more bitcoins. Are there an unlimited number? No. The anonymous creator of Bitcoin put 21 million Bitcoins in the virtual ground. Since 2009, nearly half of them, 11 million, have been mined and put into circulation. But with each new batch of coins that's unearthed, the program's code automatically makes it harder to solve the next problem, thus timing out the supply. Can you buy real things using Bitcoins? There's a growing list of online merchants that's accepting them, including a site called BitMit that's like eBay for Bitcoins. A few brick and mortars take them, like this bar in Berlin. Some people are also minting their own physical versions of their electronic bitcoins, making it a kind of prepaid cash. It's also being used on the anonymous marketplace come Drug Bazaar, Silk Road, and for other peer-to-peer -peer transactions that are completely anonymous. How do you acquire bitcoins? The most popular way is from the Japanese site Mt. Gox, which acts as an exchange. You can set up a connection to your bank account, convert real dollars into bitcoins, and store your coins in a digital wallet. How widely adopted is the bitcoin likely to become? Hard to say. This is a volatile, high-risk currency market. Just ask someone who bought bitcoins for $237 one day, only to see them drop in value to around 85 bucks the next. Then there's the possibility of government stepping in, putting the kibosh on a shadow tax-free currency that's become popular with the outlaws. Hackers can steal from your digital wallet, and transactions are uninsured and totally irreversible. The only thing that gives bitcoins their value is people believing they have value. Sure, same is true of gold, but with gold, you can make a watch. That's the short answer.